At Ameripure Processing Company in Franklin, Louisiana, roughly 60 workers scrub, sort, and shuck raw oysters coming right off boats in the Gulf of Mexico. This company is nationwide. We're number one in the nation. We're the nation in oysters, you know. Moses Charles supervises pasteurization. Ooh, this is hot. It's a process this company invented. They say it protects against harmful bacteria. But these days, their prized fishing waters are threatened by something much more serious. Well, it affects all of us. Uh, basically, our life as we know it, you know, was providing for our families is, uh, is at a halt. This is a uh, high pressure washer. All the oysters that come in. John Tesfich started this company and over the years has built it into the main raw oyster supplier for nationwide restaurant chains like Red Lobster. He's given them a heads up that they'll likely have to change their menus. Some people in the community can't even talk about it, and that kind of tells you how deep, you know, this kind of, this kind of uh, crises, how this affects, you know, the, our, the, the local seafood community. Supply is already running short. Much of the Gulf is closed to fishing altogether, and many oyster harvesters now work for BP. There are so many questions at a time like this. When will fishing reopen? How to pay the bills? Now they're getting some help from people who might have a few answers. Ameripure and other business owners are talking with Alaska biologists and fishermen still recovering from the Exxon Valdez spill. A group from Prince William Sound visited Louisiana about a month ago and have been a source of information and advice since then. There's no boundary for that. Well, you're fishing in Alaska, fishing here. We kind of feel, we, we, we feel the same thing. The experience is a lot the same. Just the climate's a little different. Ameripure says one of the things it's learning is the importance of organizing as an industry group to make BP accountable. The company says it's also insisting BP pay fishermen and processors lost wages. But some people just need to talk, to share the pain and uncertainty with someone who's been through an oil spill. It's touching, you know. To see that kind of human component. Um, excuse me someone who's willing to travel all the way from Alaska. It really moves you, you know, to, to, because they care. These people care. It's something no amount of money can provide.